Okay, the video that you're going to see is going to demonstrate some of the laboratory experiments advanced biology students are doing with uh, catalase enzyme from live yeast cells. They will be investigating uh, factors that affect the rates of reaction, such as the amount of substrate, the uh, temperature of the ambient environment that the uh, reaction vessel is in, and also uh, um, the pH of the uh, solution that the yeast is growing in. In order to investigate the reaction of catalase, um, the yeast is put into a solution of hydrogen peroxide the uh, reaction that occurs is that catalase from the yeast reduces hydrogen peroxide to water and free oxygen. And so the students will record the rate at which oxygen accumulates uh, in a test tube where they can, or in a graduated cylinder that's upside down in the water where they can look at the uh, displacement of the water because of the amount of oxygen generated by catalase from the yeast, from the substrate, which is hydrogen peroxide. Stupid. 20, nope, 33. Nope, 35. Yeah, well, we're seven ahead of the last time in that. I know we did everything right. You mean a half is making it go faster than three quarters? I think we did the other one. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't mixed well in the flask. Yeah, that's, that's probably what it Miranda's was. Miranda's fault. How does it mix? Mm -hmm. Oh, and that. Maybe it wasn't mixed well. I bet so that's what it was. So all your yeast was on the bottom, and you grabbed some top. Oh, yeah. With very little yeast. We'll, we'll go with that. Somehow. Hey, look. He's got pretty neat handwriting. Not bad for a boy. Yeah. Better than mine. Mine's very not neat. <laughs> You so think that's a genetic two thing? Gaps between that, but there's three for that one. No, it's... <laughs> I think the neatness of handwriting might be a genetic trait. Uh, let's see, you fax it enough. Yeah. The big question is how much is nature and how much is nurture? That is the question. They don't want to, they want to, uh, so what do you guys got in here? <laughs> the first shot of a one cc of catalase? It's the um, ten, me, 10 milliliters of the hydrogen peroxide and 0.75 of the. Okay, so this is 0.75 of the catalase. Yeah. So it should be running a little slower, right? Yeah, kind of. What happened to this one that it's going so slow? I don't know. 30. Is that the first setup? Yeah. yeah, it's part eight. It's 32. Part A. Yep. Hmm. Let's see how this one's doing. Catalase, so we have yeast, really and hydrogen peroxide, right? Yeah. you got a bunch of bubbles coming out anyway. Huh? Yeah, now, is this one the, 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 the initial part A? No, this no, is this B. Part B. 75%. So this is 70. So that's why it's running slower. Yes. Less, less catalase. Which really shows that the more enzymes you have, the higher concentration. The more enzyme, the faster the reaction, right? That's correct. I wonder if it'll be a straight line when you go to, or if it'll be a curved line. Be interesting to see, huh? Yeah. I can't wait. It's exciting. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing better than this. <laughs> Nothing better than science lab, right? No, Bubbles. You get good at this, you might be able to make a, be a brewmaster for Carling Black Label or something like that. One of my teachers was the brewmaster for Carling Black Label. After he retired, he became a science teacher. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, you must have got done. Time for time for the second part B, right? Okay. <coughs> oh, you're getting ready to make make a graph, huh? Heck yeah. You got data? Mm -hmm. Heck to the yeah. Okay. <laughs>